Hello students, today we will see the next chapter is Inheritance and Interface. Inheritance and Interface uh, included uh, these points, Inheritance Basic uh, like Extend Keyword and Types of Inheritance, then Superclass, uh, Subclass and Use of Super Keyword, then Method Overriding and Runtime Polymorphism, Use of Final Keyword related to the Methods and Class, Use of Abstract Class and Abstract Methods, then defining and implementing interfaces, runtime polymorphism using interface and last is object cloning. Then uh, first is inheritance in Java. Uh, object oriented uh, programming language like OOPS allows you to create new class based on a class uh, that has been already defined using the inheritance. Uh, inheritance is uh, one of the uh, most dominant and vital features of the OOP and object oriented programming language because it supports the hierarchical classification, it reusability of the class and define to the specializations. Inheritance allows us to create hierarchical classification. Using inheritance, a class can be inherited by another class and this uh, base class is called as a super class and the inherited class is called as a subclass. Uh, inheritance in Java is a mechanism which one object acquires all the properties and behaviors of a parent object. It is an important part of object oriented programming system. The idea behind inheritance in Java is that you can create new classes that are uh, built upon existing classes. When you inherit from an existing class, you can reuse methods, fields of the parent class. Moreover, you can add new methods and fields in your current class also. Uh, inheritance uh, represent the easy relationship which is also known as the parent-child relationship. Then advantages of uh, inheritance. Uh, code reuse reusability through inheritance is increased. Then second is inheritance provides a clear mode structures which is easy and simple to understand. Then third is code is easy to manage and divided into parent and child classes. Then fourth is no need to write code from scratch because you can start coding with existing class also. Then fifth is using inheritance you can very easily convert small system into the large system and good at representing the objects. Then extend keyword. The extend keywords indicates that you are making a new class that derives from an existing class. The meaning of extends is to increase the functionality. In the terminology of Java, a class which is inherited is called as the parent or superclass and the new class is called as the child or subclass. Uh, to inherit a class, we have a simply incorporate the definitions of one class into another by using extend keyword. The syntax of uh, inheritance by using uh, extend keywords is class, subclass name, extend superclass name, then uh, including uh, body of the class uh, or methods and fields. The keyword extend specifies the properties of superclass name and that are extended to the subclass name and after the subclass will contains all the methods of superclass and it will add members of its own and remember that we cannot extend the subclass from more than one superclass. Direct multiple uh, inheritance is not allowed in the Java. For example, uh, uh, Java inheritance uh, is a displayed uh, programmer is the subclass and employee is the superclass. See this figure. Programmer is the subclass and employee is the superclass. The relationship between the two classes is programmer is a relationship of employee. It means that programmer is the type of employee. Then uh, we will write the programs for uh, programmer and employee. Uh, here class employee float salary is equal to 40,000 uh, for example. Then class uh, define the class programmer. Class programmer extend the employee. Employee class. Then it's uh, bonus. Mm, uh, int bonus is equal to 10,000 public static void main string args then uh, create the objects of programmer class programmer p is equal to new programmer then uh, display the salary and bonus then system dot out dot print ln 
programmer salary is equal to p dot salary this is possible because salary uh, is salary field is the employee class included in employee class then uh, system dot out dot print and then bonus of the programmer and display the bonus then when we run this program we will get the output programmer salary is 40000 and bonus of the programmer is 10000 then types of inheritance on the basis of class there can be uh, three types of inheritance in java single multi level and hierarchical in java programming multiple and hybrid inheritance is supported through the interface only uh, not directly supported by using interface here uh, main three types of the inheritance supported by java first is single inheritance here the symbol for single inheritance class a class b then multi level class a class b and class c then hierarchical class a class b and class c uh, then uh, when one class inheritance multiple multiple classes it is known as the multiple inheritance these are the multiple and hybrid uh, not directly supported by java by using interface uh, we can support this uh, classes support this inheritance uh, class a b c and uh, these are the hybrid class a class b c and class d